Peggy 18. Sony's been an extremely great partner for us in, in moving the console. At Blizzard, our heritage was actually console games. Obviously, we've been away for a while, so we had a little bit to learn, and we looked across all the franchises to see you know, which one would really be the most appropriate to bring across. And we felt that Diablo was, was by far the, the easiest win. It is the granddaddy of action RPGs. You know, when the first one came out in the late 90s, it really said, you know, RPGs don't need to be the slow, sort of pondering, epic, they can be these awesome, you know, rock concerts and you can sort of like just smash things and kill a bunch of monsters and get a whole bunch of epic loot. It just connects you to that experience and I think it's super important for us that the player feels that they are in the screen with their, with their character and partly because our players on console are sitting 10 to 15 feet away from the action so the more we can make them feel that they are the action, they are the barbarian, the more epic and visceral the experience is. So for us, the thing that's exciting about the new console is, is actually the controller. Uh, that's where it all begins. That's where you develop that relationship with your character on the screen. You know, at Blizzard, we have this sort of philosophy that control is king. And working on a console version for Diablo 3, for us, that means the controller is king. You know, this is not a mouse. This is something different for us. And it's something exciting that we haven't had a chance to work with on Diablo. What was surprising was that the second I got a controller in my hand and started playing around, and there's a difference here between uh, an indirect control where I'm pointing around with a mouse cursor and a direct control, an intentional control, where I say, I'm pointing this way, I'm attacking that way, I'm rolling this way. And that just sings. It was really surprising, even to me. There's an intimate connection between the player and their character. And that's something that we really wanted to leverage and build the Diablo 3 version uh, for the console, specifically around the notion that we call pick up and slay. So on console, you know, we pick up the DualShock 4. When you flick the right stick, your character actually performs a, a sort of dodge move that is unique to the console. And we added that thing first because, you know, our you know, PlayStation players, you know, are gonna have this expectation that as a console game, I should be able to do that. I should be able to have this cool sort of dodge mechanic, and we wanted to give them that. We also wanted to make sure that players had the ability to quickly reposition in combat to give the game not just a cool action feel to it, but add a sort of tactical element to it, and it's worked out really well. One of the things that we're excited about with the controller is the touchpad. Diablo is a pretty deep game, and uh, we don't like a lot of overload on the buttons. We wanted to keep it really simple so you can get to the things that you need to get to fast because you need to do it because the monsters are pouring at you no matter what. We think the touchpad's gonna give us a lot more opportunity to, to make that interface a lot easier. You know, we now have a different way that the player can interact with the game. For a game like Diablo 3 that has a lot of sort of cool inventory things you're doing, you're equipping items, just the possibility of the trackpad is really exciting and we really can't wait to dive into it and sort of make it as awesome as we can. What we didn't want to do is simplify the experience because at the end of the day, Diablo is awesome because of all the different items you can get and you know, all the different powers those items have. So we didn't want to sacrifice that. What we wanted to do is streamline the experience so the players can decide when and how they wanted that, that level of, of information. So we really built the inventory and all our UI screens from the ground up. These are screens that are specifically designed to feel great when you have a DualShock in your hands and the way you navigate them. So we moved into a radial style menu that allows, first of all, your character to be nice and big on screen. But I think one of the magic of you know, working on a game like Diablo at Blizzard is we're very iterative. Like we constantly keep asking ourselves, how can we make this better? How can we make this more awesome? And you know, our team and so Jason Bender had this really great idea for something we call the quick equip which is without even having to open an inventory, you can just press up on the D-pad and quickly cycle through the items you've recently picked up and make a decision right then and there whether to equip it or not. So again, that's a great example of the way we wanted to streamline but not simplify the experience. What's great about Sony's decision to make the PlayStation 4 an easier architecture for us to work with as, as developers is that it means that we can actually get our games into the hands of our players a lot faster. And we're super excited about that. We have a lot of scalability in the PC version of the game, and with the processing power of the GPU on, on PlayStation 4, we're pretty confident that we're gonna be able to get very high-res graphics and a super rock-solid frame rate. So something that you get on PC, uh, not quite for free, but something that people are used to, is the ability to do things like stream your experience. So you say, hey guys, 
they just uh, change the way that um, barbarians work, or I just got a new axe for my barbarian. I wonder if I can do this whirlwind tactic that I've been doing on a harder difficulty. Let's find out. And so someone online will go, f they'll take video of themselves doing it, saying, look, I can totally do it. It's totally easy. All I need to do is go to this area and get this skill, and I can make it happen. And people learn, and it's exciting. I think the, the share button, I think, has this potential to so it really fundamentally changed the way players um, interact with not just the game, but with one another. And there's always been a, a barrier to sort of bring that same type of experience to the console. But the fact that it's now on your controller, a button press away that you can, you know, you just found an awesome legendary and you want to sh you know, share it, not just with your friends on your couch, but with the whole world. The fact that that's a button press away, it's just such a, such a great thing to bring to players. And I think it's, it's one of those things that, especially when we start talking about it in, sort of internally, is that we sort of get the potential, but it's not until we actually see it in action, and more importantly, see players engage with it and see what they do with it. That's where we're gonna see the true promise of the share buttons come to life. But also, um, multiplayer is huge. I am able to sit there on the same couch with my friends. And you're going up against you know, the legions of the burning hells. And it really makes the experience, as I said before, immediate and sort of very social. And then, of course, we can also play with people who are remote. So three of us might be sharing a, a view on the couch, looking at the same screen. Someone else might be playing from somewhere else in the country. And we can all play together. That is just great. Uh, having that social experience and that flexibility is something that's really unique. That's what console gaming is all about. It's a more intimate experience right there in the living room, a shared experience you know, with your friends, with your family. And we think that Diablo is a perfect game to allow you to do that.